All right, section 1.4, calling .NET library methods. So basically, there's two ways uh, or two type of uh, methods. There's a static way or the non-static methods. And .NET library, in order to call these special libraries, you have to do it a certain way. It's not the standard verb noun um, sequence you were kind of already familiar with in the previous tutorial. It's going to be something like this, where you have to open bracket, you have to specify the .NET library, you close the bracket, then you put two double colons, and then from there you do get file name and then you specify the file name. All right, so here's the thing. With dynamic libraries, you cannot call it directly. You have to have an instance of it and then the methods will be available. So if we take this, if we take this command up here and we run it, I can run it directly from system IO path. Okay, that looks fine. Now, here, if you run it, you probably saw this. Let's read it. It says method invocation failed because system date does not contain a method named add hour. Pretty straightforward. It means it doesn't have the method. That means it's somewhere else. Okay, so let's find it. A way to find it is to, I believe you do get um, type, is that it? No. Let's try get members. There we go. Oh, it's a lot of stuff. As you, if you ever see an asterisk right here, that means it's just it, it, it keeps going, meaning it's a lot of stuff. So I'm going to restart the kernel. Restarting the kernel in Jupyter Notebooks is going to reset everything and stop the you know stop whatever it's doing and kind of hit the reset key. But it will take a bit, so let's give it a bit. But as you can see, get UTC code now, uh, get date. These are everything that's available, right, to me. So add hour is not available because you're adding hour to a date. You need the date first to then add hours. Does that make sense? Okay. So now, now that that makes sense, let me clear this output. Now that that makes sense, we're going to then do this. We're going to find, I want now. I want the now method from system date. And then we're going to st stick all this and put it through here and put it here. Okay? Does that make sense? Again, we're going to do it again. We're going to, oopsie. We're going to take now, right? That came from system date. Okay? And then we are, now that we have that now time that, that gets from the system date, we're going to then stick it into that variable. Okay? So let's do that. Object equals open bracket system dot date time close bracket double colon double colon now and we get we get it right you didn't see an output because there's no right host so there are many ways to get that we can just object and get it or like before we talked about right output uh, object right? They're both the same thing, right? It's an alias, so object. Saturday, June 27, 2020, and six, 
a.m. So now that is UTC time. So we have to fix it. Or in this case, we're just going to add 15 to that now time. Okay? Does that make sense? You have object, right? It is 60445. I'm going to stick another cell right below it with a B. And then we're going to do it again. Object dot add hours 15, right? Now, here's a question. Did I add it to the variable? Did I add this to this? No, I did not. Okay, keep that in mind. I did not do an equal sign. So if I do object again, it's still the original number. You can see it's still the original number. It did not change. I modified it, but I did not change this actual value. Here's what you can do. You can say, um, let's see, time, uh, time, you know, my time equals object dot add hours equals 15. Okay. Then I call my time. So now there's two different times. There is this time, right? There's this time, and then there's this time. Now I have now I have two different variables with two different times. Remember, if I do something like this, but I don't do equal sign, it won't store it in that variable. Okay? All right. Um, hopefully that helped.